In this video, I'll show you how to create 40 blog posts in one hour. It's a real thing. Anyone can do it. And you'll see for yourself. But firstly, I want to show you and I want to tell you why this is possible. There's an ongoing debate among SEO experts who just help other people get more traffic to their websites, right? First one, some SEO experts are very detailed and precise about on-page SEO. They focus on perfecting title tags, meta descriptions, headers, and the content within them. Others follow the 80-20 rule. They want to do SEO right, but also they want to do it quickly, right? Understanding that time is money. Myself, I probably lean towards the 80-20 approach because I like to see the results quickly, but here's a question. What do the biggest companies think about this? Like these, the biggest websites out there. Do they care about detailed SEO or they just pump out content without worrying too much? Are they very methodical? Buzzfeed.com is one of the biggest websites online and they have a sister company called Buzzfeednews.com. But did you know that Buzzfeed News is going out of business? Some people are saying the reason is ChatGPT. They claim that Buzzfeednews.com started using ChatGPT around January 2023 and everything has fallen apart since then. So you might wonder why we should care about Buzzfeed and Buzzfeed News going out of business. If they were using ChatGPT for their content and you want to use ChatGPT for your content as well, should you be concerned? Because some people believe that the reason for their downfall is exactly that, using ChatGPT. Well, honestly, I don't believe that. I think that this is all hype. And here's the reason for my thinking. BuzzFeed.com and BuzzFeed News have a different business model than most niche or affiliate websites. They heavily rely on social media for traffic. More than 25% comes from platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And we shouldn't buy into the hype that ChatGPT was the reason for BuzzFeed, you know, news to went down. If you read more about it, if you just do a little bit of research, there are various publications on this, you will see that BuzzFeed news declined mainly due to its dependency on social media platforms like Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. What they did in the end, though, when they were sure they were going down, well, they just said, Let's stop hiring people for the content, right? Let's just use AI. Let's just use ChatGPT to do that for us. And that was a lagging indicator. I plan to use AI for almost anything related to my content on my websites and the people I help at every opportunity because it streamlines the process. And we live in a consumer world. Nobody's out there to read if the article is like written with AI or whatever. If they see an article about, I don't know, some recipes for kitchen, they want to get the recipe. They want to buy the recipe book. They want to buy a pan. Or if they're watching something about cars, if they want to read blogs about cars, they want to purchase something. So they are on my website or your website. They just want to make something happen. They just want to purchase something. And they just need a little bit of text and then they just need links in order for you to monetize. But that's just the whole strategy that I'm talking right now. This is where we have some fun. Let's create 40 of these in one hour. First of all, whatever you use, whichever niche you are into, you need keywords for that one. I mentioned some kitchen things. So let's just use that for this example. You know what Ahrefs is. This is the website which is really good for you if you intend to do any kind of things with blogs or keyword research, SEO, whatever. You have to pay for it in order to use like all the most necessary tools. But if you want to just start right now and if you want to make like five of these right now, you can just use ChatGPT to give you five SEO keywords related to healthy summer recipes. Let's just stay with that kitchen example. All right. So here are five SEO keywords related to healthy summer recipes. And as you can see, these are the keywords that we need in order to get started. So I can just copy and paste that and I will just put this inside of this keywords. I'll just make this bold so I can just see where I am. So I have keywords and here we have to get article names, all right? 
So the next step, we have to take these keywords, move back to ChatGPT, and we need the article name. So make me a good article name with SEO in mind related to these keywords, healthy summer salads. So that's going to be the first one. So how about this? 10 refreshing healthy summer salads to beat the heat. I like this one. I go back to my sheet. I paste this. This is my title for the first one. Then I just repeat the process. I can just write like for this one and then I'm going to get this as well. Once more, I paste it, get another one for this one as well. So I'm just going to do it like that. And of course, I get it once again. And I do this for all of these. Really easy, takes a little bit of your time. Now the last one, here's the last one, and it's done. I've got myself five article names, and I use ChatGPT to help me with SEO in the keywords and in the article names as well. So we are ready for creation of these, all right? And yeah, you can make 40 of these right now, but I just did the math and I just saw how much time it takes me to make one of these. And you'll see the tool that we're going to use in order to make this. We're not going to use ChatGPT. We're going to use something that one of good people from YouTube made. And it's called Word Galaxy. All right. So Word Galaxy is a thing that can make you SEO optimized content, whatever you type in. So you will just put the keywords and you can choose a style and article length. So let's just see how this works. Just head over to wordgalaxy.ai this is still free and as you can see right here you just have to put the keywords in there all right you can put the article name that's why we made it paste it there then just choose the style whether you want this to be professional conversational or opinionated the language is going to stay english article length you can go up to five, but I'll just take this one for this example. I'm not planning to use these. These are just an example for this video. So let's just click on create article and see what can we get. Now, this tool is going to be a paid tool very soon. And if you don't want to invest any money into it, I have a second option for you. This one is called SEOwriting.ai. And this one is totally free. As you can see, one click blog post. This one can generate the titles as well. And then you just have to wait it out. In the meantime, you just open yourself untitled document on Google Docs or just open a Word document on your computer. This thing is good for organization of your articles and you can just use that Excel spreadsheet on Google Sheet and you can paste all of those inside of this column. So if you have a blog or you just want to organize yourself, this is where you will just paste all of those links from Google Docs so you have everything in one place. Or if someone is working for you or alongside you, they will have everything in one place and they will know where to find these articles and, yeah, essentially just post them. So our article is ready. As you can see, healthy recipe, delicious healthy recipes for every diet. You click on it, and what I like about SEO writing.ai is that you get some pictures as well. So this is totally ready. As you can see, it gives you some tables as well. It gives some kind of videos as well. You can always delete these if you don't like them, but I think it's a pretty handy feature, right? It's a powerful tool which gives you all of this in one place and you can see the length of it. I mean, it's, it's just huge. So what I'll do, I'll copy all of this. And I'll paste this in our Google Doc. And let me just check how many words this has. Like it has 2,900 words for free. All right. This is totally, totally good. Here, you just name the article. Then you just copy the location of it. And as you can see, this is where you or someone else can find these articles, right? So you have everything in one place. All you have to do now is to repeat the process for each one of these 5, 10, 15, 20, whatever. And then you just have to push out that content. Monetization of your blog post. I don't know what you've chosen. I like affiliate marketing. So for example, every time I made something, I will use some kind of a tool which can just give me my affiliate links for things on Amazon that are related to my niche or some person that I'm working for. BuzzFeed News used to publish 200 articles a day, which seemed impossible before. But now with the tools we have, it's much easier. This particular tool, well, two of these are very good. Now, the most important thing is that you don't overwhelm your blog with 
like a million of these at once, right? Especially if you're just starting out because you can't get noticed. You need to build up momentum first. So just start with one or two per day, maybe for the first month, right? And when you get some reach, when you just start to, yeah, push out more, you can increase the volume. Yes, you can use it. All the other people use it. So yeah, just take the opportunity. Wish you good luck and I'll catch you next time.